Uber has today announced the launch of electric border borders in Kenya. Electric motorcycles are expected to cut running costs for drivers by about 30% given the rising cost of fuel. Uber electric border borders will be available in Nairobi with plans to expand to other towns. The launch of the electric motorcycles comes as the uptake of e-motorcycles in the country continues to accelerate courtesy of the government's rollout of the National Electric Mobility Plan. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Experience this for yourself here today, the Uber Electric Border. Asante Nisana to all of you. In case any of you want to take some pictures. Congratulations on the launch of your electric-only motorcycle product. I'm informed that it has an innovative battery swapping technology which will only charge drivers for the electricity consumed and ensure they have a quick turnaround time to be back on the road in a few minutes. The advantages of the motorcycle that you launch are several and include zero emissions, reduced noise pollution in the city, increased comfort for driver and passenger through elimination of vibration and reduced operation costs that will lead to improved driver earnings. We understand that we can't achieve this bigger than ourselves ambition as Uber to be the cleanest platform in the world or on earth by 2020, 40, by 2040. And that is our ambition. And we cannot do that without the value of the partnerships that we have in place to do this together with us. And some of those partnerships are sitting in this room today. But those partnerships are with regulators, with policymakers, with thinkers of transport, with uh, companies in the transport space, with the media, with cities, with everybody that is standing with us to move um, in, a, in a more sustainable way. Football Kenya 